Our infrastructure is on life support right now. That's what we're on. According to the government, there's 70,000 bridges that have been deemed structurally deficient. Yep. What does that mean? It means that there are bridges that need to be really either replaced or repaired in a very dramatic way. They're dangerous. I, I don't want to say they're unsafe, but they're dangerous. I would agree with that. If you were going to take me someplace, any place in the country, to illustrate the problem, where would you take me? Well, there's a lot of places we could go. I mean, you could go to any major city in America and see roads and bridges and infrastructure that need to be fixed today. They need to be fixed today. From the earliest construction to the development of transportation systems and new technology, corrosion has been an endless battle. Why? Because corrosion costs money. Corrosion costs jobs. Most of all, corrosion costs lives. That is the impact of corrosion. NACE International undertook the impact study for one key reason. Most corrosion failures, and nearly all catastrophic corrosion failures, are preventable. Today, the estimated global cost of corrosion is $2.5 trillion. Up to $875 billion can be saved through increased corrosion control. The impact study explores how businesses worldwide are integrating corrosion control technologies and management throughout their systems. While other studies have illuminated costs, for the first time, IMPACT presents a path to reducing those costs. The study shares how top-performing organizations account for corrosion costs across an asset's life cycle, from design and manufacturing or construction, through operation. With benchmarking data to calculate return on investment or an asset's net present value, the IMPACT study empowers every organization to become a top performer. Every study done on corrosion costs has led industry leaders, legislators, and media to NACE with the same question, how much will it cost to reduce the cost of corrosion? While IMPACT does verify and update data from the most recent study done in 2002, it goes beyond cost and beyond U.S. borders to incorporate new data and research from international, regional, and academic participants. As we develop the study, we focused on collecting widespread global data. We placed heavy emphasis on public safety and environmental impacts, and we examined the role of corrosion management in the establishment of best practices and in maximizing cost savings. We also included a broad range of partners to ensure the study best reflects the industry. Some of the most important and influential organizations in the field partnered with NACE on the impact study, including private companies, government bodies, professional societies, and an organization representing trade workers. And why were partners eager to collaborate on IMPACT? IMPACT provides information that is critical to developing and improving corrosion programs. And with more effective corrosion management comes the opportunity not only to reduce costs, but also to improve safety worldwide, to protect essential national infrastructure and assets, to protect vital business assets and operations, to bring new perspective and new approaches to corrosion prevention and control methods. Owner management sees the ongoing need for corrosion control. To inform decision makers of the value and efficacy of life cycle corrosion management systems and help organizations understand the safety, quality and performance value delivered through corrosion management. Our partners made a genuine commitment to the NACE mission of protecting people, assets, and the environment from corrosion. Their involvement ensured that the study provides information on the best available corrosion management practices worldwide. A critical component of our partners' involvement was participating in a 70-question survey designed to gather information on how organizations in various industries and countries manage their corrosion control departments, personnel, budgets, and related business strategies. In benchmarking industry corrosion management practices, 
The study team focused on four sectors, including oil and gas, pipelines, drinking and wastewater, and defense systems. From there, the focus shifted to financial tools used for corrosion management and how certain corrosion management methods can positively affect the lifetime of an asset without increasing the cost. The costing methods used are explained in detail in the impact study and can be used as tools that companies can integrate into their corrosion management systems. One of the most unique components of the impact study is that it was built with growth in mind. Any company can complete the survey that was given to the study partners and compare their own corrosion management to the overall outcome of the study. Just over a decade ago, no one envisioned the world's largest asset owner, the U.S. Department of Defense, having an office dedicated to corrosion. And now that office has demonstrated a substantial five to one return on investment for its corrosion control programs. Numerous examples of the DOD's program can be found in the study. An undergraduate degree in corrosion was something industry had only hoped for. Now we are about to welcome the second class of graduates to the industry. These are just some of the results from the NACE efforts after the 2002 cost of corrosion study. The results of the impact study present new perspective and data that will change the future of corrosion control. Impact provides the data, tools, and a framework that businesses and governments can use to execute in an effective corrosion management system. While it is important to continue investment in technology and systems for corrosion control, the most critical finding of the study indicates that it is essential to put this technology into organizational management system context, which helps justify corrosion control actions based on their impact to the business. This led to development of a corrosion management system framework, which is the core deliverable of the study. The framework enables effective corrosion mitigation while providing a positive return on investment. It's a documented set of processes and procedures that are necessary for planning, executing, and continually managing the threat of corrosion. Impact enables leaders to understand, support, and implement corrosion management systems. Within the Impact Report, there is information on policies, strategies, and objectives, as well as charts and diagrams, and many other resources to help businesses incorporate an effective corrosion management system into their own organizational structure. The report is a tool corrosion professionals can begin to use immediately. We look forward to working with you, our members, to bring the benefits of this study to your profession, businesses, and industry.